So we're trying to um, train the next generation of people who want to do social data analysis, whether they be academics or more and more people uh, in NGOs doing policies and trying to make sure they have the appropriate techniques and also trying to make sure they understand these cutting edge methods. My vision is that we would see what are, we think are the most important sort of new things that people need to learn and then provide a vehicle for that, the set of people I talked about to actually acquire those techniques and to see how those techniques are used in social science. So one of the critical things is there are lots of things in data science that are not particularly oriented toward the problem of social scientists like to sort of say what's relevant to social scientists and show social scientists how they can use these techniques. I think it's just very exciting. I think it sort of fills, I would say fills a hole, but in fact the hole is almost the entire space. So books are too slow. People who are doing cutting edge research really don't have the time to write books. They have to be more senior. Uh, journals are great, but they want to focus on uh, very specific research without worrying more about the, pedag the pedagogy. So here we can fill in and get things that have both really great social science work, but also spend much more time because we have the length to explain what's going on, to train people, and because we control what the elements are, to sort of say here's where we want to sort of push things, rather than simply waiting for authors to come in over the transom. That it's short, so that people can do it that um, people have enough room to actually do stuff, that they can put in their code, they can um, dynamic. So one of the important things is it can keep being updated. And one of the really important things is that as the elements grow, um, things, for example, like text will make reference to things like new developments, say, in deep learning. So these things go together. There's no way at any given point to say, at this point, we're done, and this is the method that should be used. Everybody. Um, so clearly, students in any of the social sciences, so political science, uh, quantitative sociology, uh, urban, quantitative urban studies, so any of those kinds of things, and obviously researchers who want to stay current with what's going on, which should be everybody. But then also, I'd like to reach out more to people who are doing work um, in policy, to people working for NGOs. Um, everybody in some sense needs to take advantage of all of these new resources and we would like to make it fairly painless for them to do that. It's going to hopefully change graduate teaching, moving away from textbooks or moving away from picking out one article here and one article there to sort of a unified treatment with unified notation of stuff that is important for the next generation rather than the last generation. And the same thing for undergraduates, so we can focus on things like research design that everybody sort of needs to know. Um, and also uh, changing, say, the training of uh, data journalists, uh, uh, modern urban people, there's just a whole bunch of people out there who are taking advantage of these modern things and we'd like to make that uh, more painless for them. This is changing so rapidly, so for example, uh, deep learning may go back 10 years and the changes in deep learning, a, a very a nice form of neural networks, really is about two or three years old. So these things are changing so rapidly and we really like to cut the uh, transmission time from state-of-the-art AI researchers to this stuff being used in social science. Same thing, for example, for using satellite images. Perfect thing we should all be doing in comparative politics. It's not completely trivial to use that to get people to do that. Brand new computational techniques, so new changes on Markov chain Monte Carlo, stuff, it's, it's called STAN. Again, we'd like to make that just part of everybody's routine. Exciting, dynamic, organic.